hired our uh, car today and driver and uh, our local guide to help us through the area. A gentleman that was here during the war, he was seven years old. His father was killed in the war. In 1967, this place was being racked by bombs, a lot of infantry. And today it's just a nice, calm little town, the way it should be. This Vietnamese veteran. Where? Veterans. He's a veteran? Yeah, we call. Viet Cong? Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> He's laughing because I just let an old enemy, a Viet Cong, uh, go by on that bicycle. It's old, old bridge. For old bridge. That's the yeah, old yeah. bridge. I walked across that. Wow, interesting. The old bridge. Look at that. Look right across. No wonder. This is Mysa Village. While traveling through my uh, village, I just had to have the driver pull over. I needed more information on this pagoda that we stopped at. Elaborate automation. Always ready to open the door for you. Small, quiet hamlet. Racked by war in the 60s and 70s. Now peaceful. I asked our guide if he could locate someone that had some information on this building. We found the caretaker of the uh, establishment and he mentioned that American troops destroyed it back in 1967 when I was here in the battles and that uh, a new one was erected by the uh, village inhabitants. He told our guy that American jets uh, destroyed the last one. The site of many battles that took place with the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment, Kilo Company in particular. My company. During this time, there were tanks, a lot of infantry, a lot of death. Occasionally we would lose our guide, but he'd always find us and come and rescue us. We stopped here to reminisce about the old times. We used to come up this river in boats, up into Dang Ha, with mortars dropping all around us in this very same area. I remember this exact same spot. We pulled over in boats and had to go to shore and had about a three-day battle with the 401 North Vietnamese Army, and we kicked their ass. Fire base, a strong fire base. Strong fire base of the American troops along Highway 9. The in the 30, uh, map of 1972, to the 2nd April 72, the, you know, the liberation force in liberation Viet Cong, force, yeah, yes. we are uh, to, you know, and the Battalion and then battalion, not the battalion. Higher. Uh, regiment? Regiment, yeah. Regiment? regiment. 56 surrenders. Okay. The South Vietnam surrender. Surrender. Yes. You know, um, leader of the, the regiment now survive living in oh. the West City. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Good. And now located at the mouth of the Carviet River. We are located in a very remote fishing village at the mouth of the Kaviat River on the South China Seas. Our guide was a little reluctant to bring us into the village because there are no foreigners that actually make their way this far up the coast. An American planes destroyed the village in 1968.
Our guide stayed close to us in case we got in any trouble. Evidently, these two children were for sale if we wanted to buy them. Is playing at night? The sister, by the sister. I don't know. Baby family. Babies. Yeah, babies. It's cute. They're not Sunday. No star friends. Yeah, they're Sunday. Get off. A lot of the townspeople came in to see the spectacle that had come into their town. They soon found out that we were Americans. Stop that little marketplace. Marketplace to um, for the for everybody. Everybody. You can hear the children mock us. They laughed at my bare feet and I took video and replayed it all to them and they had a ball watching themselves on video. American name. American name, huh? Yes, everybody's here. You keep mouse out of the American? Couple of junks out in the harbor. California, straight ahead. Ten thousand miles. 